As we got GCP account and understood pricing, now it is time for us to provision Ubuntu 18.04 virtual machine. As part of this topic, we will set up virtual machine, we will connect to virtual machine using web console, we will also configure static IP to the virtual machine so that the public IP does not change on reboot. All these three steps are very very important, you also make sure that you take care of all these three things. That being said, you can go to the Google Cloud platform, this is how it will look like with respect to VM dashboard. If you are not on this dashboard, if you want to come to this dashboard, you always click on this sandwich icon to go to the sidebar, go to compute engine and then go to VM instances. It will take you to this dashboard. Now there are multiple ways to create virtual machines. If you have not provisioned any virtual machine yet, there will be a big button here to create virtual machine, you can click on that. However, if you have virtual machines already, you can actually click on this create instance to create a virtual machine. A virtual machine in GCP is not just the resources which we have seen such as memory, CPU, storage, etc. It also includes the operating system. So let's say demo lab. This is the name of the virtual machine. Now you can actually scroll down. We are interested in 4V CPU, 16 GB RAM, E2 standard 4. You can see here. This is what I have picked under standard. The second one E2 standard 4. And then you can actually change the persistent disk size. I want to go for 60 GB. With respect to operating system, I want to use Ubuntu and the version is nothing but 18.04. If you want to use latest version, you can pick the latest version also. But this is the most popular one at this time, Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic. You can select this and then you can scroll down. You can ignore these things for now, don't allow HTTP traffic or HTTPS traffic, just have the configuration or machine type selected appropriately and also choose the operating system and also make sure that the storage is 60 GB. You can see that new 60 GB standard persistent disk and image is Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. LTS stands for long term support. Make sure that you choose these things. And also when it comes to machine type, it should be E2 standard 4 with 4 vCPUs and 16 GB memory. Now we can click on create. It will take care of creating the virtual machine for you. It will just take a minute or so. And once the virtual machine is up and running, we should be able to connect to it in multiple ways. One of the way is by using web console. We'll see how to connect to this virtual machine using web console once it is started. Now it is already started. You can see the public IP address here. To connect to it, you can expand this and you can say, sorry, not this one. This is primarily to go to the other details. You can expand this and then you can actually say, open in browser window. It will take care of uh, launching the console using the browser and you should be able to interact th with this virtual machine. It might take a bit of time. For now, I am just closing this. Let's go to the agenda. We also want to configure static IP to the virtual machine. So the way you can configure static IP is by going here, you can actually go to view network details. This is where you should be able to configure the elastic IP for this uh, machine. You can go to external IP addresses. In this case, we are talking about demo lab. This is the one. I want to have static with this one and hence I can expand this and I can say static. Now you can give the name to this. Let's say demo lab and then reserve. There will be a name also for this uh, one and now this IP address have become static. Now you can go back to the VM uh, dashboard by going to the sandwich icon compute engine and then VM instances and you should be able to see the uh, virtual machine as long as it is a green tick it means it is running. Now I should be able to expand this and save open in browser window. It will just open the web console as part of the browser and we should be able to interact with this virtual machine using this browser based approach. Let me try once again. It is not coming up for some reason. Let me refresh this page. So the pop-up is blocked. That's why it is not working. I'm using Safari. As the pop-up is being blocked, it is not coming up. I can click on this on my Safari and now it should work. If you are using some other browser such as Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer, you should be able to figure out how to unblock the pop-ups and you should be able to see the console like this. Now I am in the virtual machine with the Ubuntu operating system in it. I should be able to leverage Ubuntu based approach to actually install the softwares I require to 
use this virtual machine. For the learning purpose with respect to Python, if you want to set up Jupyter, you just have to understand what all things that needs to be installed and you should be able to access uh, the Jupyter-based environment through browser from your machine once they are set up by following the required steps. That being said, we have understood how to set up virtual machine, how to connect to virtual machine using a console, and also how to configure static IP to the virtual machine so that the public IP does not change on reboot. We will be seeing how to set up softwares and how to use those softwares for the learning purposes as we proceed further into the other topics in this section. And also we will be seeing several other things as part of the other parts of this course and also the other courses. Make sure you have a virtual machine so that you get best out of the content which we are going to provide to you. Also, as we have seen how to connect to virtual machine once it is provisioned, we should also spend time about how to manage it. Because whenever the virtual machine is up and running, your credits will be saturated pretty fast. So in this case, if you want to just stop the virtual machine because you don't want to use for extended period of time, you just have to go to the VM instances dashboard by going to the compute engine un under the sandwich icon. And then you will be seeing this. You can see that demo lab is currently running. You can select this. And these are the buttons which you should focus on. If you click on this, this will delete the virtual machine. Don't delete un unless you don't want to use it anymore. This can be used to restart the virtual machine. This can be used to suspend the virtual machine. I'm not 100% sure what is the meaning of suspend if there will be any costs associated with suspended virtual machine. If you just want to stop the virtual machine, this is what you should be using. So if you click on this, the virtual machine will be stopped. Now you can see the pop-up here. If you want, you can check this so that the message will not show up again. But in case you want to avoid accidental shutdowns, you can deselect this and then you can click on stop. Now the virtual machine is being stopped. Once the virtual machine is stopped, it will show the stop icon here, similar to this one. So the colors of these icons have meaning. If it is green, it means it is up and running. If there are any errors, typically it will be in red or orange. If it is gray like this without uh, any state, that means it is in stopped state. Now you can deselect this and you can see that all the virtual machines are stopped. If you want to start this virtual machine again, you can click on this and you should be able to click on this start or resume button. It will take care of starting the virtual machine. Typically, we will be using these two buttons. This is to stop and this is to start. Make sure you stop the virtual machine when it is not being used so that your credits are not saturated fast or you are not charged unnecessarily. And also whenever you want to start, you can just come here and you should be able to start the virtual machine from here.